922-7B-125 helium hydrogen ions electrons neutrinos formula while SETI. There's the alien radial signal there. And there we go. So charged ions chart man predict periodic chart of elements helium hydrogen center of the universe dark matter particles on earth in the wow data line 22 and I forgot to put uh, I'm going to add that big bang theory big bang theory plus okay so I forgot to put that in my notes there so line 22 7b124 silicate minerals earth's cross big bang theory dark matter theories well said he was a previous video and quotes diagrams from a blog I thought I did that on all of them and I must have missed them. Oh, I did a lot. I did like 20 videos all at once, so probably that's what did it. So charged ions create magnetic forces mixing with metals found in the comet. So here's the main periodic charge of elements. So I looked up theirs because they are the oldest people on Earth from my books. They got HE2 and H1. So HE2 is helium and H1 is hydrogen in the middle of their periodic thing. So <clears throat> my thoughts. The main periodic charge of elements looks like a planet Earth to me. The center of Earth to its crust. Okay. Will be the elements of dark matter layers created with, after a big bang in the universe developing and forming a planet. Helium and hydrogen ions being the center of the core of the Earth. Hydrogen ions have negative positive charges to create a magnetic force with the crystals in the rock formations, forming a circle as each layer attaches to the magnetic core. Helium must cause the separation of the porous dark matter particles and organizes them somehow. So I'm going to Google helium, quote from Wiki. Helium is composed of two electrons bound by the electromagnetic force to a nucleus containing two protons along with either one or two neutrons depending on the isotope held together by the strong force. Unlike for hydrogen, a closed form solution to the Schrodinger equation for the helium atom has not been found. Ooh, you haven't found it yet? <laughs> I wonder if we're going to find it in the well signal. Wouldn't that be cool? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Schrodinger does come up, so you never know. I might have found it and didn't know it. You know what I mean? So however various approximations, such as the heart Hard tree Fock method can be used to estimate the ground state energy and wave function of the atom. So I'm going to write this down. Closed form. You want a closed form solution. The Schrodinger's equation for a helium atom. Okay. So you're looking for that. We'll see if that comes up or if I can find the answers to that. Ground state energy and wave function of the atom. So here's the formula from the data. So we have helium equals two electrons plus bound plus ligands plus electromagnetic force. So we'll say it's the Higgs boson signal CERN 2012 June results. To a nucleus, hydrogen ion containing two protons, neutrinos have two protons in them along with one or two neutrons. Neutrinos have neutrons. Google. Quote wiki. Neutrinos do not carry electric charge, which means that they are not affected by the electromagnetic forces that act on charged particles such as electrons and protons. Neutrinos are affected only by the weak subatomic force of much shorter range than electromagnetism and gravity, which is relatively weak on the subatomic scale. Therefore, a typical neutrino passes through normal matter unimpeded. Neutrinos are created as a result of certain types of radioactive decay or nuclear reactions such as those that take place in the sun in nuclear reactors or when cosmic rays hit atoms. There are three types or flavors of neutrinos, electron neutrinos, muon neutrinos, and ton neutrinos. Each type is associated with an antiparticle called an antineutrino which also has neutral electric charge and half integral spin. Whether or not the neutrino and its corresponding antineutrino are identical particles has not yet been resolved, even though the antineutrino has an opposite chirality to the neutrino. Most neutrino passing, neutrinos passing through the Earth emanate from the Sun about 65 billion or 6.5 times 10 to the 10 power of 10 solar neutrons per second pass through every square centimeter perpendicular to the direction of the sun in the region of the earth. 
So December 9th, my thoughts, 2013. Comets pass by or through the sun. The ones that survive their cold water base attracts the solar neutrinos and they attach the comet before it orbits back out into space. It then finds dark matter particles to collide with and creates a nebulous or planet formation. Supernova neutrino, I'm going to Google in the next video. Thanks for watching.